Hello all, in this video we will uh, learn how to run assembly 16-bit and 32-bit uh, uh, application uh, inside 64-bit uh, 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 Windows 7. So pre-request is to install the NASM, download and install the NASM to your C drive. Second is download and install inside NASM directory a link. And the uh, third part is to download and install DASBox. Okay, so we uh, we will do that at now. So go first site is to download the NASM. This is a uh, one of these site. Uh, put those NASM into your C drive. I installed it already here. Second is to download uh, SourceForge uh, Win32 application A link, uh, which you will put inside of uh, extract it inside of NASM. And the third part is to download DOSBox, go to here to Windows and download and install it as it de as it default. Okay. After that, we will copy our uh, our file, our working files of assembly. So I have here some working files. Hello world, let's say. Just copy assembly. You can see it from Notepad how it's look. So this is a code assembly. I just gonna copy and put it inside of the NASM. Okay. So NASM and paste it here. Okay. Now I will have to open command window here and type NASM and then name of a file which is hello DOS create object and make hello world dot com okay and he's create hello world dot com if I try to run it it say you can run it if I try from here hello world dot com run it it say unsupported 16-bit application. You cannot run on the 64-bit platform. Okay. So now I will go to uh, to my DOS, uh, bulk, uh, DOS box. So I'll just open it. You can find it um, inside of here. DOS box. And just run one of which is unconsult and I will uh, mount my NASM okay just type mount C C NASM okay and then go to C drive and type directory and you see here is a list of our program and just then type the name of your uh, of your program, Hello World, and it's running, and it's running fine. You can uh, notice that you cannot debug 16-bit application on the 64-bit platform, because the hardware has some differences. So the conclusion is to work with 60-bit assembly files and debug it in your project. For debugging, uh, you have to download program which is called debugging tools for Windows 64 which is called WinDebug you can download uh, WinDebug from this side from this side just scroll down and download this version you can also download 30 32 bit I also install that just simply clicking by about here. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will learn more about batching. Batch.